Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. If you're into learning filmmaking, learning DaVinci Resolve tips and tricks and things of that nature and looking at cool gear, please consider subscribing for this channel. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at the new update for DaVinci Resolve 16.2, and there are some pretty neat features to have a look at. So let's start with the first one. So the first feature we have in DaVinci Resolve is the Blackmagic Fairlight Sound Library, which is a free sound library you can download directly from Blackmagic's homepage, and then you can just download that and um, then, of course, uh, install that onto your system and when you open up DaVinci Resolve next time it will be in there. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and um, we have our sound library here. And as you can see, there it looks like there is nothing here, but you can, you, the sound library is actually the, the, uh, here. If you click here, you can find the sound library. And if you have other sound libraries in other databases, you can of course find those as well. But per default, it's shown nothing. So if you want to see all of the sound effects in the sound library, you can go up here and push three stars and search. And then you have all of your sound effects here. And there is 515 sound effects, which is pretty good. And um, you can use them for whatever thing you want to. And that is pretty neat. So let's put the sound library aside. So another little little thing, it's just a small thing, is um, the, the, the time here. If you want to have that into frames instead, you can just right click and then you can see all your timeline in frames, or you can have it per default in hours, minutes and seconds, like so. Um, and that's what I prefer. Another thing also in the new update, and I'm not going through these in a <laughs> in a detailed way, I'm just mentioning some of the things because there is a lot of things in the update. But one of the things is that you can do compound clips with in and out points. So I'm just going to give an in point here and I'm going to do a out point. And then by right clicking, I can now convert in and out to a compound clip. So I can then name my stuff. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say that. And then I'm going to the media pool and I have my compound clip here. And then I can just drag that and put that in here. So that's just a neat way to do that. Also, if you are having multiple layers in your, in your composition or your compound clip, this is a faster way of making that. Also, there's a transition dialog box. So I'm just going to add a transition. Yes, please. So I'm just adding a transition here in this clip here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So if I right click here, I can actually go into the change duration and I can now change the duration of the transition of my liking. So that's also a new thing here in DaVinci Result. I'm just going to change that out. So, also we have a new way of duplicating a timeline if you are going to do that. And that's super simple. It's just going to your timeline and right click. And then we have duplicate timeline. So if you needed to make a copy of your timeline, that can be done super fast and super easy. And um, that's going to save you some time. Also, we have some fusion templates. So let's uh, go into the effects library. And let's just put down the meta pool here. And then we go into the generators. We have a fusion template generator. Uh, and what that is, we can just drag that down here. It's um, some a generator to and what that is, uh, is a generator, and this is um, again gradient noise. And if we run the clip, of course, nothing is happening because we haven't done anything. But uh, if we go into the inspector of that, we can change the things 
all the values around for this thing. And we can even go, if we right click and we go to open Fusion page, which is also a new thing. It's going to go into the Fusion page. And then we have like this noise gradient and we can do different things to that. I'm not going to show you anything about this in this video. Uh, I'll do a separate video about that later on. So that's one new thing. Also, we have the ability to do fusion transitions. And they are here, there is some default thing. And the way those works is we are going to, let's take a slight push here and we're going to add that in between here. Just going to remove this thing. And uh, now we have a fusion transition. And the cool thing about this is that, of course, we can, um, we can again modify this as we want, change things up. Um, again, I can do that by clicking here and going into the, the inspector and changing things up, but also by right clicking and then going to open infusion trend page. We're going to open this specifically one and there, here we have the the transition itself. And we can, of course, change that, modify that, do a lot of things with this. Again, not going into details with this, I will do that in a later video. And that was just a look at some of the new features in DaVinci Resolve 16.2. It is some pretty neat features and it is a pretty decent update, by the way. So in other videos, Coming up soon, I'm going to go in depth with some of the new things as the fusion templates. I'm going to have a look and dive into that more than in this video. And to see the full list, go to Blackmagic's homepage because there is a lot of new things. There is also a lot of uh, Fairlight things in that, but I'm not going to go into this in this video. We'll have a look at that later, I think. Okay. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.